Oh, my God, if I know, come on, go, 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 I'm just a security guy that have luck. If not because money last them to my account. But then, my dear, many things have changed since that time, Sha. Hey, someone for 600 years. Three At least I'll be alive for 600 years. You, you will never reach 75. You that will soon die. Jokes. Do you know my background? Do you know where I'm coming from? With me, I was once a security guide. I came up from the ghetto. Ghetto so down in me now. But oh, they understand because of a trusting front shot. It all began on Wednesday. Since I have condolence to everybody tonight, this is my spot. There is a lady that I didn't come across. This type of deals <laughs> are not for just anybody. You don't call me just anybody. You're going to call me for short. Or rich Omekwa. Mazman notorious and noted all over the world. 500. Final offer. Do we have a deal? My guy, you were scammed. What's the gate, man? My friend, pay me my money. Uh, yeah. Why don't you come off it, you stupid, scandalous prostitute? You are going to listen to me now. You will transfer that money back to my account with immediate effect. Notorious fraudsters. They said to be led by a tall, beautiful woman. Madam, this woman defrauded me. 500 million naira. Listen to me, I'm listening good. I will get upset with you. Do you know what? Do you know me too? So, what was the plan? How the ladies do? Money I earn with sweat and blood. Money I go rather go spend abroad. If you don't pay, please rest assured. I will take action. I swear to God. Still same juice for you. When did you become a breast cancer advocate? How oh, breast cancer? You just put your breast on, please, girl. Now that. What my breast pay me my money. Hello everyone, welcome to another amazing time with me. My name is Chacha. Today we'll be reviewing Quam's money. Sorry about my makeup, my hair, everything, but I have to jump in on this. I'm actually doing something. I'm trying to learn how to make up myself. True fact, okay? I've been paying makeup artists to make me up for every of my movie reviews and it's costing me a lot. I'm not making money yet from my channel, so I have to cut down on cost and do things for myself. Plus, I'm about to... I think I need to be doing some things myself to be able to make this long lasting and um, cultivate the habit of being more consistent on this channel. So yeah, go. So forgive the, the <laughs> ugly brows, the everything, and let's just focus on the review. So today, like I said, we'll be reviewing Quam's Money is a 2020 Nigerian movie. On this channel, last year, I earlier posted the trailer of this movie. So, Quam's Money features actors and actresses like Blossom Chukujeku, Faust, of course, William Suchemba, Nse, Ekwe Tim, Tony Tones, Mitchell, Dede, Karibi Fubara, and lots of other actors and actresses. It has to do with Quam's. Now, from Quam's money, you would not really, that was how I felt anyway, you would not really understand some things initially. It will make sense when you start watching new money, but um, we'll get to that um, in a bit. Today is for Quam's money. Nsekbe team, William Suchemba and Tony Jones were part of this, this Boroboro group. Okay? Now, there's a point, this point, at this time and age, I expect, I don't expect perfection, okay? Because if there's perfection, I won't be reviewing movies. 
Now, what I expect from Nollywood is a, a step ahead of where we were like 10 years ago. The modern day Nigerian movies all have same thing. Um, you, would, you would know Kaya De Kassam's movies. They all are similar in their making, in their narration, in the filming, and that is something I cannot understand. Now, this Quam's Money, I have looked forward to seeing this movie and I, you know, it held a lot of expectations for me. So what I was expecting, on the one end, I got it, and on the other end, I was left, you know, a little bit dissatisfied. Now my dissatisfaction stems from normal story that was lame and picked up when when Kwam Omole Kwams was duped and he went with his friend to see the financial crimes unit lady. Okay. That was when I started picking interest in the movie. In the beginning of the movie was just colorful. It had good filming and everything, but lacked substance to say. There was no real story. Yes, we are listening to Faust, the bad guy, you know, giving us the norm his normal signature narration, you know, the way he speaks and all that. Yes, fine, we understand and all of that. Because there was, it had nothing special because, hey, we've been seeing all of that in most of his movies. So what is so special about Faust at the beginning of this movie? For someone who is impatient, you will not be able to wait for this movie to begin to unfold for you to get what you're looking for in this movie. Let's just say, okay, you're going to the cinema and you're seeing this movie you just be wondering okay 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 so what and so what now this movie picked up at the middle of the movie kind of like kind of like 45 minutes into the movie so the time wasting was 45 minutes of time wasting let's just say everyone is jobless but come on hey now you know i enjoyed the plot and all of that but spare me one bit one second or two where exactly is William Suchimba. I can't understand him. Like Faust the bad guy, Faust has a signature. Like I said, his Yoruba accent speaking and all of that, the comedy, blah blah blah. Okay, fine. Can I understand William Suchimba? Because everything was just not it in this movie. The only scene I enjoyed, like I said, okay, oh, oh, oh this is good with William Suchimba was his um, discourse, his conversation with Faust in the very cool when he was taking him to helping him find some contacts to, you know, get in touch with Inse. Brief conversation. Other than that, every other thing just rang fake to me. I, I, I wasn't feeling William Suchimba at all. I could understand Tony Tones just a little bit. You know, at some point in the movie, I got tired, especially when they were now saying, okay, we are the real faces behind this whole heist and all of that that thing between William Suchemba and Tony Tones was just fake was just annoying if you're acting as a couple if you're acting the normal Bonnie and Clyde thing then you should put life into it don't it was it was annoying the little fun I had in the movie was just scenes involving Faust Apart from those things that directly involved Faust, every other thing was just very, very annoying. I don't even understand what the issue was. Sound-wise, yes, the sound was good. The lighting was awesome. Picture quality was rich. That's the thing about Kayo De Kassam's movies. Everything you will see, the expensive filming, you know, at its speak. But every other thing other than that, you would not understand it. Now, it was when I was watching New Money that I really understood Quam's money. Other than that, the movie was empty. Let's just say, if you don't see New Money, there's no way you would understand this movie until you're way past the middle of the movie, which is something that is unacceptable right now in Nollywood. Because, I don't know, let's just say you miss New Money, you'll be confused. And it's not supposed to be. Every movie it's on its own. Whether it's this part one or part two, the sequel or whatever it is that you're asking for, it should have its own story. That's the bad thing about Nigerian movies. You have you waste people's time 45 minutes or one hour into the movie. And then you're using the next um maybe 50 minutes of the movie to cramp everything that you should have started doing at the beginning of the movie. What, what is going on? And you don't see it in just one movie, you see it in several Nigerian movies. And I'm just wondering, like, why? 
Now, towards the end of the movie, they are rushing everything. In fact, the end of the movie, they are cramping everything together and you're left at the end of the movie feeling dissatisfied, which was what happened in Quam's Money. Even though, you know, we understood the plot, the plot taken, we were held in suspense, and everything was on cue, fine, good, perfect, the end of the movie was rushed. You had the beginning of the movie to do everything that you were supposed to do and you lost it. Why are we repeating that same mistake over and over again? For me, the, I'm going to be rating this movie a 6 over 10 because so many things were not perfect and I think we've come to uh, a stage in Hollywood where we should be expecting some semblance of perfection or at least, you know, when somebody looks like it, they'll be like, yes, wow, you know, Nollywood has come a long way. There's no way. No, 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 no. Okay, so this movie will be a 6 over 10. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> this particular review, no, I filmed this review for two days because of rain, everything, everything, makeup, blah, 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 blah. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.